Graphics by ATI. ATI, my ass. His ha! insult. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we like to do reactions here on Saturday. So here we are. We're taking a look at AVGN clones. Now, obviously, I'm uh, good friends with James. Been friends with him for a long time. Uh, helped him, you know, got, we pretty much came into the internet at the same time, 2006, back in the screw attack days. He had a couple of videos before then in 2004. And, uh, but he really got his career started in 2006. And we kind of went along the ride together. James has obviously become an icon in the space. It's been awesome to see a success. And uh, so many imitators. And that is exactly what we're looking at here. A video from Magic Mush. That is the channel. We're only going to watch a little bit of it. I encourage you guys to go watch the rest of the video. The video is uh, linked down in the description below. Well, let's check this thing out. It is clones of the AVGN, the angry video game nerd, the often imitated uh, never duplicated. Let's check this out. Now, I've never heard of the angry, pissed off, hardcore gamer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure this is going to be awesome. Uh, my, obviously, my initial thoughts, uh, there was the uh, the guy, Chris Boris. I don't remember what he was called. Uh, he was the guy that everyone was like, oh, he, that was the biggest, closest imitator to. I think they 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 kind of had a little rival to, rivalry. At least, I don't know, James kind of got tired of his shtick, but they, I think they, they uh, patched it up later on. But I don't think the angry, pissed-off gamer, or hardcore gamer, sorry, uh, really got quite on uh, James's radar, but I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but there's a lot of imitators. Full intro here. We really got a good variety of anger reviewers. Ah, there today. he is. All unified of doing the exact same thing James did, and of varying quality. But you have to remember, some people did not have access to the resources James did. James went to film school and had some knowledge of the movie making process. Some people didn't get the opportunity to do that. Some had no access to high tech cameras or special effects, but they still tried their hardest to be like his character. Now, I will say this about that. I think the biggest thing that James had going for him outside of just his, yeah, he went to film school. Yeah, the biggest thing was that he was a fan of film, right? And he his, the biggest asset James has is his creativity when it comes to uh, his anger video game nerd episodes and whatever it is he's doing. He's a creative guy who, who has this vision attached to it. And that's something that a lot of people saw the gravy train. They wanted to hop on this guy's mad. I can be mad. Oh, it's so easy. Um, but they found out it's not. And when you have somebody who's held in such high esteem as, as the angry video game nerd, one of the originators online, as far as the angry content that it's easy to get trampled on by the internet. And I think that's what most of these people, uh, most, most happen to these people, but, yeah. This, of course, would lead to cases like this. <laughs> this is the angry, pissed off, hardcore game. And if you couldn't tell, he means business. He's going to turn to the things you loved and grew up with, including the shit cube, the shit box 360, and the place where it all comes from. I wouldn't mind tasting it. His real name is Eric Abramov. Okay, I love it. This is so classic. Like this is late 2000s at times, 10 frames per second. Yeah, I will say this about James. His quality has always been spectacular, right? Um, especially when it comes to angry video, angry video game nerd knockoffs, right? Uh, 30 frames per second at the time. Now he shoots at 60 frames. These guys were shooting with a webcam, and it really it was definitely noticeable. And as you can tell, he's Russian, so English is also not his first language. Doesn't have that much very good games. Okay, it's been long enough. It's time to stop ignoring the elephant in the room. That elephant being Eric himself. Eric himself is a very imposing and noticeable individual. You're a big guy. Four. Four. It's to the degree where it actually has an impact on his videos, where he resorts to pointing at things he wants to talk about with a broom handle. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. That is so sad. Hey, but I accept you for who you are. Don't approve yourself. Just keep on eating. Go ahead. This is my Xbox One. This is my Xbox 360. Like, legit, the jokes write themselves. How could anybody tell the difference between this guy and James? I don't even understand. He's even acknowledged his weight in his videos and is self-aware about it. But honestly, that, that's low-hanging fruit. 
I'm not here to mock a man for his weight in videos that are well over a decade old. We don't body shame on this channel. We just make self-deprecating jokes about autism, that's all. So I will not be making any more comments or jokes on this man's appearance. I will be playing this music though. Eric was very clearly doing the same thing James Roth was doing, and he didn't even try to hide it. He even used the AVGN theme song in one of his videos. <laughs> now, the AVGN was criticizing things awesome. for how broken or frustrating they were. The angry, pissed off gamer criticized him for minor problems and thought- Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that just between these two shots, these two shots right here, where is he? That and that. I mean, they're practically the same person. Like, how would you even know? And thought that was worthy of destroying them whether with special effects or actually breaking things with a hammer. It's not good. <laughs> oh, oh my. You wonder if that's part of the character. That had to have been part of the character. Just the, the slow, it must think about. No, I could edit this, but I won't. <laughs> it doesn't even work. Well, as you can tell, Eric's production values were not very high. He seems to be working with MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker to make his stuff. And while it may come off as cheap to some... Let, hey, I don't even want to hear this, what this guy has to say. Magic mush. Are you kidding me? This is high quality MS, MS Paint right here. This is, this is insane. Look at, look at this. Look at him shooting lasers at this Nintendo DS. He shot at all of them. By the way, what the hell is that up in the... Oh, is that an Xbox, traditional Xbox controller? That is in the upper left corner. That's right. I was like, what is that? That's the Duke. Um, this gives the videos these sort of weird nostalgic feel when this is actually what a lot of people did back then. You can tell he's really trying to be badass and hardcore with these. And oh, sweet Jesus. Now that, that is actually kind of terrifying. I imagine waking up in the middle of the night and this thing is staring at you. You could jump scare someone with this pretty effectively. I like the idea that he potentially uh, keyframed all those in, or there's some sort of filter. Now, this is long before filters. Give it up for the angry, pissed off, hardcore gamer for his ridiculous <laughs> effects in 2008. What do we got here? Oh, jump scare coming. The thing about the videos are they are unintentionally hilarious. This dude's playing Contra 4, one of the best games on the soup on, on the on the uh, 3DS. Or maybe the DS, whatever it was. Contra 4 was awesome. Oh. Like you can tell Eric is trying so hard to be badass and witty, but it falls on its face so hard it wraps around to being hilarious. Graphics by ATI! ATI, my ass! His ha! insults Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's nailed it, man. This is awesome. And his mockery of things are genuinely into so bad it's good territory. This looks like a fucking chocolate chip cookie. And then there's these incredibly long pauses between every single quip. Like yep. he's trying to think about what to say. It becomes yep. so awkward. It, I can't help but laugh. And plus... That was 11 seconds, 11 seconds right there. That was spectacular. By the way, kudos to Magic Mush for uh, the, the audio edit right there. Spe just great, just uh, wow. But then there's a sad aspect of this when you realize this guy just became a laughing stock on the internet because of how hard he botched this whole angry reviewer thing. There's a video out there of album pictures of his life and shows you this guy had a laugh outside this. And yet, this is his legacy. Eventually, Eric gave up on the whole angry reviewer shtick and oh, just didn't decided to review it. things normally, and tried to be an actual informative reviewer. And uh, well, I, well, I wouldn't say he succeeded at this either. Classic. The idea of shooting the screen. This is DSP level shit. This is game life right here. This is 2007, 2008 at its peak. Shoot the shoot the screen. 
Let everybody know you got the system, but you don't have a way to import it. Oh my gosh, uh, amazing. And the, and the power port right here. And even after this, it seems that Eric gave up on reviews altogether and decided to focus on his own life. He lost some weight and decided to become religious. Yeah, for him. he became a man of God and sometimes would post religious videos online in his own Eric way. You can bow on your hands and knees and kiss God's ass all you want. And nowadays, oh. Eric is still online, sort of. I actually found his YouTube channel, and sadly during the editing of this, he seems to have removed almost all of his videos. But no! the one thing I do remember, he had a lot of videos of him making art of women with huge bedonkers. So he's found himself a hobby. A man of God and a man of taste, I see. I hope I didn't come off as too mean-spirited towards Eric, because honestly, he probably had the best future out of anyone else in this video, as you'll soon find out. He got Ooh. his shit together and went on to do something with his life. It's for something he's actually passionate about. That has to be admired. He said he just wanted to entertain people and had no issue with people loving or hating the videos and admits the videos were just, well, bad. If you like them, you like them. If you don't like them, don't like them. I don't give a fucking shit. If man of God. <laughs> what a man of God. Oh my God, that's just spectacular. This is like, I've never heard of this guy. I knew that James had an impact around the world, right? But to see people from all, all different walks of life, all different countries, literally the other side of the ocean, I mean, just it was so funny to see. It, oh, it's great. If people like my videos or not, the reason I did those videos was on purpose to make people laugh. Well, Eric, I would say you still succeeded even if not in the way you intended. These videos are some of the funniest and nostalgic things I've seen in a long time. They are a true form of art. This is genuinely the YouTube version of The Room. It's trying so hard, it ends up amazing. I would say you made your mark in history, Eric. You should be proud of that. Uh, I mean, I think, I think that's a very nice thing to say, Magic Mush. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily agree with you, but I appreciate your fandom of the angry, pissed off, hardcore gamer. I mean, you can find about 6,000 of those on Twitter, right? I'm sorry, X right now. Go in there and you can find the angry, pissed off, hardcore gamer. And they probably articulate it just as well as this guy. <laughs> He even drinks. Down the hatch. Burp. It's hilarious. All right. Well, this video goes on. There's more. There's another one that's called Game Dude. Why do I? That's why does that Game Dude sound familiar? Game Dude sounds familiar. Then there's You Know What Sucks, which was a knockoff. If you know it's bullshit. So I'm going to end it there. I encourage you guys to go watch the rest of the video. Uh, make sure you know. Make sure you tell Magic Mush. Uh, I sent him over there, and uh, I will definitely be watching more of Magic Mush's videos because they seem right up my alley and things that I could react to in a great way. So uh, if you guys enjoy this, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Go watch more videos over here. They're good. Join me Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time for the Side Scrollers podcast, and we'll have clips on the channel as well. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. It's great to see you. Welcome back.